more DJ electronic music news from this one, Mix Mag. Now we have a new venue opening up in London. One venue is closing, another venue is popping up. So again, the yin and yang of life. London's getting some new venue called Canvas. Funnily enough, it's opening up. Um, I think next to, next one to Oval. Same people that own that. So article from Pickle. So sorry from Mix Mag. Sorry. Um, it says the following here: a new club called Canvas is opening in London next month. Uh, and Claire Fifi is playing all night long at the opening party. So the following, a 400 capacity club is opening in East London next month. The space is called Canvas. is a new venue from the team behind Oval Space and the Pickle Factory. And it'll be located next door to the sister venue, which is great to see because it means that they're essentially buying out or renting out the entire space. If you've been to Pickle Factory, you know it's like on this little roundabout. It's like a little thing that you kind of go around and there's like factories, buildings all around. I think the other side is like studios. So they're essentially taking over the entire thing. They're buying all these little lots up, which is great because I think the cause guys did the similar sort of thing. And I would imagine those places are probably going to get knocked down and built into like, you know, fucking shiny uh, metal flats soon. Maybe in a couple of days, maybe in 10 years or so, which is great. But in the time being, they're allowing nightclubs to kind of set up shop because he does you don't need to like kit them out too much you don't need to like there's no much you don't need to do too much restructuring to kind of get a club up and running i'd imagine so to an existing building right just need to make sure there's electricity running water a good you know all that source all that good stuff some soundproofing but you don't need to change much of it structurally to kind of get it up and running so the fact that some of these landlords are able to kind of notice that hey if we allow these guys to be like quote unquote um guardians right of our spots we can allow them to kind of you know make sure it's well maintained it's looked after and then once we're ready to go we have this blank cameras we can just kind of rip up and sometimes in some respects you know we've kind of kicked you out electricity we've given you a spot so it kind of makes their job a little bit easier too so it's great to see and i like the fact it's called canvas maybe it's like a blank canvas they can do more stuff at and um opening that with a clear fifi which is great as well which means they might be more of a bent or more of a especially the program might be more of an idea to kind of steer it more in the realm of like residents playing every week which would be bad which would be great in my opinion if it turns into a place where you have the same two or three djs playing every week plus a guest please make that um again it allows up and coming djs like myself to have a place to kind of aspire to go to to kind of you know get a guest spot or to kind of have a gig there and it also allows punters even like myself too to kind of know there's somewhere i can go to to hear a DJ that I like, right? If I if I know I like a Claire Fifi, I know where to go and see her, you know, two weekends out of the month, right? In this London club somewhere in the middle of Bethnal Green, as opposed to like how it usually is I have to kind of go on her RA, check if she's around. It's just annoying. So if this if they're able to do that, that'd be amazing going forward. But let's read the article a little bit. It's a new 400 capacity club opening up in East London next month. The space is called Canvas. The uh, Percolate has invited a Claire Fifi to play late uh, night to play all night long for the opening party with a venue taking the leap uh on february the 29th tickets are on sale now and can be purchased here now again this is an interesting thing i want to know if, you, if anyone has any information out there from the london scene let me know why is it that when these new clubs open up they have to do an opening night like especially that launch like this right in association with, with in association with like a well-known promoter or like promotional club night why does it have to be like that why can't they just do their own in-house thing <laughs> right let that run put it out market it well make sure people come and then start going out and get promoters because i always feel as if like when they start off with promoters it's there's no synergy really because if i'm an if i'm a percolate fan they usually have i don't know let's say i've, I've never been to a percolate party but let's imagine they usually do their parties in like free venues like yeah corsica mix and somewhere else right I know them for I know them for putting on parties in those venues. And I've got memories. I'm attached to those venues. So if they throw a new party somewhere in the middle of Bethnal Green, I'm unlikely to go. Right? It's not going to really call. It's not going to really call to me, especially if they have a different way of kind of programming the nights. Imagine if Percolate usually have this thing where they they kind of you know book loads of DJs to play all, all together at the same time. The fact that they got one person will kind of put me off too. So why don't club? Why don't new clubs just absorb it? take the hit and take the gamble and just say, you know what, we're going to book a DJ to play in our club, just have it as like an opening night party, like the first party, and just then go and then kind of work it from that way. And then maybe pay the promoters to maybe, you know, retweet it or to market it or to share it on their page, fair enough. But I never got the idea of like latching onto a promoter to kind of put your opening night on, especially when no one knows anything about the club. Maybe it's different with uh, Percolate. Maybe, again, I'm speaking out of turn because they might put on their nights an oval space and pickle factory, so they're hoping that people will just kind of pass by and go there. But I don't know, man. Usually, if you're going to per if you're going to pickle factory or oval, you've already bought a ticket anyway, right? You, you're not necessarily walking. It's not necessarily... It's not in a 
there's not much a there's not much a passing trade there, right? It's kind of like tucked in behind, uh, you know, behind some buildings and stuff. You really have to kind of go there with attention. So I've never really got that. I don't really know. Maybe someone's gonna answer it, answer it for me. Leave me and uh, let me know in the comments below if you know what the answer is behind that. But it's always kind of, hmm. but anyway. So the following, so tickets will be uh, percolated and violated. If you need to play all night long, the opening party, which is gonna be at the venue. Uh, taking a leap on February 29th. Tickets are on sale now and can be purchased here. And I can't wait to share the space with you. It says um, it's the best party. To, uh, it's a perfect party to place. It's a perfect place to party, said Claire Fifi. Head over to the campus website to check it out. And again, here's a flyer. I quite like the flyer. The Claire Fifi all night long presented by Percolate um, Canvas E2. So yeah, definitely good to see, man. Let's see what happens. Let's see what it looks like. I'm interested to see what the kind of venue is going to be like. I've not seen the inside of it. Have they got an ins Instagram really set up with pictures of the place? It doesn't look like it. No, is it? No. No pictures of the actual venue. Oh, okay. They have the opening night already. Usually they have it ready, right? They usually already have a little bit of an opening night. That's like a soft launch. Maybe like a little spoken word thing it looks like, right? Photography. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, people. Big you. Okay. Musicians playing and stuff, doing their thing. And then usually then they have the electronic night happening after the fact. So, yeah. It's cool to see. Interesting to see what kind of programming they'll do. If it'll be more like smaller DJs playing there, hopefully that'll be a thing. Again, I would love to see more resident DJs playing in a place like this and then kind of build it out that way. And maybe again, it'll be more interesting if they do that because, you know, they've got pickle factor in Oval. There's no point in picking, booking the same kind of people to play there. And imagine if there's is probably that kind of level of a DJ, like from 400 to maybe 600 venue places. But then Oval Space is like, I don't know. That's like a, that's like a Ricardo Villa Lobo spot, isn't it? That place is fucking massive. So that might not be the best place to kind of have her sound. And obviously, again, I'd love it if we had a place where you can actually go if you're a fan of a Claire Fifi and just see her play all the time, right? In a venue like that. That would be excellent to see. But yeah, awesome to see there. The Claire Fifi playing at E2, 29th of February. Um, tickets are available now. I'm sure on Resident, on Resident Advisor. There should be now available. I'm pretty sure where you can purchase tickets here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see how much the tickets are. Tickets, yeah, good price. Early bird tickets are still available now for a fiver. So definitely go check that out if you're that way inclined. Uh, Claire Fifi playing all night long at the new venue in London called Canvas, which is in Nick Oval. Basically, you won't probably be able to miss it. So definitely check that out if you're that way inclined. Again, I like that whole operation. I think they've got cool security guards. The door people are usually quite cool. The sound is amazing. Bit price at the bar, but you know, what can you do? It's London. But all in all, if you're going to go out for an actual club night, clubbing night then i definitely would encourage going there and again you know it's quite a cool little spot to go to and again it's open until five that's what i mean amazing as well so 11 till five which is great then you've got the central station just around the corner for you to hop on the train and go home 